Hello there people of the universe, this is Avian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today in this video, we are once again playing Minecraft Communities. And today we are once again, well I say once again, uh, in the last video if you watched it I definitely would recommend. Um, because something a bit odd happened. We were building Mr. Pando's house and then I fell through the floor and it was a bit odd and it was great. So today we are actually going to be building the interior of Mr. Pando's house, hopefully as long as we don't get any interruptions. Um, so yeah, I've still actually got this emerald on me from the last video. Everything else I've put away in the storeroom, which is located, uh, it's that little white sticky out bit there, if you see where the crosshair is, with those two torches on top. I think that's it anyway. Um, so yeah, let's jump off here and there we go. That was super easy. Um, so what stuff do we need? It's all in the chest actually. Uh, so we're going to carry on where we did the last video. Try not to fall down the cave this time. Um, but what we actually didn't do in the last video, and I'm filming this back to back by the way. So the reason why Lelo is still here is because I've got to put her away. Um, him away even. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, so, um, once again in the last video, uh, there was a little bit of, uh, let me, let me just start that again, um, <laughs> in the last video, uh, I explained at the start that the, uh, there should, there might be a little bit of background noise, just because it's very windy at the moment where I live in England, um, so yeah, it's just sort of a thing that has to be like dealt with so there might be a little bit of background noise in this video because once again these are videos are being filmed back to back um so let's just go on and uh separate all of this and there's a rabbit it's no uh that's a desert rabbit actually desert bunny don't fall down the cave oh my god oh wait no he hasn't fallen down the cave good bunny that was the cave that we ooh <laughs> that was the cave that we fell down last video uh, so I'm going to have to be very careful not to do that again. So what I might do is I might break away the floor around it. Just sort of... Ooh, there's even more cave down there. I'm not going to go down there this time. I said I said we, we're done with caves. <laughs> we're done with caves while building Mr. Pando's house. Mr. Pando's house is number one priority. So I might um, try and dig around here first, actually just to make sure that I can see where it is so I don't just wander along here and do the same as the last video. It's just a little big square gap there in the floor. There's a little gap down there actually. Let me just go and boop. Um, that was a noise and a half. That absolutely terrified me. I don't know whether you could hear that but essentially a huge bang just went off outside my house. And I'm just going to go and see what that is, because that's genuinely slightly worrying me. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Uh, essentially what I think had happened is the wind had blown over like everyone's bin on my street. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I had to quickly go and see what that was, because I had no idea what it was. For all I know, a car explosion just happened. So, yeah. And I would rather a car not explode while I was recording a community's video. I would rather it just be a bin that fall over. So yeah, I am very glad about that. Hang on a second. I am. I just need to make sure that I wasn't uh, still muted. Uh, I just have to make sure of that. Um, okay, so let's just carry on doing this. And did the rabbit just fall down? I think the rabbit might be gone. <laughs> I think the mabbit. Mabbit. I think the rabbit might have done exactly what it oh hold on animals <laughs> this is where you've all been <laughs> this area is so great i've just found so many ridiculous things down here i've just found i just saw like a cow a little cow face down here and then it came down there's all this Oh my goodness, I keep finding mystery things on here and it's honestly amazing. I'm just going to leave you animals to it. <laughs> um, you can come out if you want, but in a minute I'm going to be clogging this all back up. <laughs> um, 
So make sure you uh, quick. Um, so let me just go and grab this. That was quite interesting. This this entire recording of doing Mr. Pando's house has been such like a huge experience. First, I fell down the cave, and I was like, whoa. Second, I like there was a big explosion outside. I was like, whoa. Third, I just found a mystical animal cave, which I think is the best out of them. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that's another hole to the cave, actually. I need to be careful of that. Um, so, I'm going to fill in the area to the left first here. I'll be to the right as you walk in. Uh, just because I don't want to end up falling down that giant cave system. Uh, because that was a little bit scary, to be honest. Um... So let's just go along like this, uh, like so, there we go, okay, so let's just go and fill, so I like filling it in like sort of a square, because then that means that you sort of end up doing a spiral thing with it. But what I will do is I'm going to cut it ahead in the video, uh, video quickly and Dancing Sheep. Oh my god, sheep, you're dancing like mad. Um, so, yeah, let me uh, cut ahead on the video while I fill it in this floor, just to make it a bit, little bit quicker for you. Okay, so I am back once again, and it is becoming night time now. Uh, that was one of the good things about uh, being down in a cave last video. It meant that we didn't know that it was night time. So we could just get on with it, really. Uh, what I do want to do is it'll probably be easiest to do it like this maybe I think yeah this is gonna be the easiest way of doing it so it's gonna be like the um, inside is gonna be revolving around uh, a big central staircase that leads to the uh, next level and I needed it to be a big staircase so then Mr. Pando himself could get through it. Because Mr. Pando isn't like the skinniest animal in the world. Um, so yeah, let's quickly go and fill in this ceiling. Uh, probably, on, I was thinking I probably should have gotten a swiftness potion, but I don't think I should have. Um, so let me just go and fill in this here. And we're just going to fill in around this area. And then I need to, uh, halfway through the thing, the uh, staircase starts halfway down the room. And that may not make any sense to any of you, but to me, it makes perfect sense. So let me just go along here and just go and fill all this in with dark oak, just making the ceiling. And then need some more dark oak. <laughs> I've had that as like an overarching trend uh, a little bit over the uh, last few um, things over the last few videos of getting the last uh, getting everything sort of wrong with it like getting the wrong materials amounts of it like with the uh, farm factory thing and a few others that I've built recently so um uh where's the middle is this the middle uh, if it places one two three four five six one two three four five six it is okay so um let me go i think it might be easier actually if i build the staircase before so that's what I'm going to try and do. So the staircase is very big, as I've said. Um, and I haven't actually made a crafting table in the last few videos because everything's been made. I made it all in my house before. Um, so we need some staircases. Staircases are very crucial for making a stair. No, st I need stairs to make a staircase. That's the one. Um, so... If we go like this, and then if we go up, and we go like this, maybe, 
I'm not entirely sure. I can't entirely remember what the design of it was. But I sort of like it getting bigger as you go along. Uh, so let's go and place another one on the back like that. And it's going to be all filled in on the sides with um, blocks. Just regular dark oak uh, blocks. I might actually do logs. I think the logs of it might look quite nice. Um, so... If so, this uh, ceiling can't come out any further this way. So then I need to go uh, like this, go along here like this, and then go and fill it in here. And I need to go one further up, I believe. It does look like that. Um, so if I go like so, and then get rid of these, and then, yeah, this will actually line up perfectly, uh, which is something that I wasn't really expecting to happen, because it tends to be whenever I build anything complicated, it tends to line up pretty much perfectly, but then I have to go and alter it all again uh, after the video, which is always slightly annoying, because I like everything that I do in the video to be, like, sort of working so then if you need any ideas for anything then you sort of have them there rather than having to modify them uh, because it doesn't work originally um, so let's go and fill in some of this then so we've got a, st a little bit over a stack actually no we've nearly got two stacks forget that um, so this is then all on the right level here so we just need to build up um, uh, yeah, we just need to build up like this, I believe, and then let me just walk around here. And yeah, it does look a little bit odd, so I might end up changing it a tiny bit in between videos. I know I just said I don't like doing that, uh, but I might just end up making it a little bit um, thinner. So it goes up two with uh, this bit actually needs to come along uh, like this just to match it up. And then, yeah, so currently it's very, very, very wide. I think I might make it slightly thinner. But what I could always do is break away these two. And then maybe do that for the next one down as well. Uh, so you've got that. And then I might break away this. And this and then I might does that look better I think that looks better yeah I, I might stick with this I end up doing a few alterations to it but nothing drastic um, so let's just go along like this and add the little like not necessarily banisters pandas don't really need banisters because they're pandas and they're awesome um, so more like things to stop you from falling down. Uh, let's just put it like that. And then we'll, I'll add some torches on the top of these just to make it slightly more uh, lit up. Because at the moment it is a bit um, dark in here. And as well as all like the doorways, they're going to have to be huge. Just because Pando is quite big. He's quite a chunky fella. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. Um, but yeah, he's like that's why the doorway is so huge because otherwise you can't get in. And I think we've gotten fairly lucky with the absence of mobs because a lot of them are spawning over there. This is a relatively lit up area with like the Disco Oreo and like obviously this house and stuff. Like there's a, there are a few over there. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but we are mainly fine. Um, so let's go and build up these walls here. Uh, like so I might add an extra half slab up there because otherwise it's going to annoy me a little bit but I sort of like it being this sort of pattern to it I think it just makes it look a bit different um, so if I go one two three uh, one two three and then nope did that wrong uh, and then one up there. So I need to go one away from the stairs. 
uh, one, two, three, and then I need to go up to the same level here, uh, like so. Uh, and then let's just build this along here for now. I think that might be uh, slightly better. And then I just need to go along like that. So yeah, that is roughly the two doors. Then around here, I'll add like a kitchen and stuff, just to make it a little bit better. Uh, but for now, we can just sort of block off this back area. Uh, I might actually, I might have room to add in a cupboard under the stairs sort of thing for him. Uh, just a little bit extra storage space, I suppose. Uh, so let's go along like that, and there's just an upside down stair there. Wrong block, sorry, there we go. And I've got one, uh, I've got two blocks remaining actually, so don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I'll keep them. <laughs> oh no, I won't, because he's stuck up there, actually. Uh, no, <laughs> that's the other one, okay, these ones are. Okay, there we go. So... This is it pretty much finished and the layout of it. I might add a couple of other things to it. Uh, I need to add some fence gates down here actually. Uh, and then I suppose we've got a couple of minutes left so we can go and get Mr. Pando himself. So I'm going to make some jungle fence gates for him. Uh, like so... I need three. There we go. This would be one of those occasions where three doubles would have been nice if it applied to fence gates as well but so we've got six leads on us i don't know why i've got this many and i didn't mean to take away my pumpkin pie i'm gonna need that probably uh, so let's just get one lead out for now and there's a slime over there but it has become day as well so it'd be slightly less dangerous trying to transport him from location to location <coughs> the only trouble is is there's quite a lot of water in between my house and the jungle and obviously he's living in the jungle currently so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add him a little bit of a water bath in his house with maybe some bamboo growing around it just sort of make him feel more at home and there is of course the beacon from the community uh, because I like to know where it is at all times no <laughs> I just like having the beacon there I don't know why I added the beacon because honestly, I wouldn't now. <clears throat> but I'm not going to really change it. Like, I have said that I'm going to go back and change um, that community at some point. But, and it's relatively close anyway. But, like, for now, it's not going to be. Um, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to remove anything. I'm just going to add stuff. So it's going to mean a lot of expanding the walls, I suppose. And I sort of had to build this house around him uh, because he's quite big, as I say. So, greetings, Mr. Pando. Will you not make. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to try some other stuff here, aren't I? Hmm. I can't put you on a lead. Oh, wow. That's just made things more complicated, hasn't it? Uh, let's just go and fill in this with this then. I'll figure out a way. I think what I might do, and it's going to be slightly risky, but what I might do is I might have to build like a huge railway track from here to his house. But I'm not going to do that in video because that will take way too long. But it's good because I've got all the gold. <laughs> I found loads of gold in the last video and loads of redstone, so making all the power rails won't be ridiculous. So, I think this video was fairly successful. We didn't do anything stupid in it. Well, we did a bit, but, um, yeah, so, <coughs> in the uh, next video, I will go and complete the, uh, actually, in the next video, I'm building something new. Uh, I'm not sure what yet, but I'll figure something out. So, for now, I thank you all for watching. I hope to see you, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Next video will be linked in the description once it is online. And there you go. You can just about see Laurie's waterlogged house there in the distance. Uh, the big flag thing that I've built. The tower over there. The watchtower. That the clock tower now absolutely dwarfs. I remember when I built that. I was like, I was so happy with it.
but like now the clock tower is just it completely destroyed it like that that was there actually when i think i built that back when this community like was very much like a role play thing but everyone knew that it was a role play thing so it was back when like if you wanted to have a war you had to declare war and stuff and it would be like a properly fought war and it was great and i want to return to those days again but currently this middle map is off limit so uh if you want to join the pc server i'll also try and leave a link in the description to that below i'm not entirely sure how that works i might have to leave like the ip address or something i'm not sure um yeah there'll be a way to get in it's been going for quite a while. I think I left it in one of my earlier videos if I have sort of stopped recently. Um, so, yeah, if you want to do that, then feel free. You're not allowed on the middle map, but you are allowed to do anything you want on the outer maps. But anyway, I got a bit sidetracked again. So, yeah, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The next video will be online next week. It will be linked in the description once it is online. And goodbye.